Hi, this is Rabbi Saidi from the European Bioinformatics Institute in Cambridge, UK. I'm lead data scientist in the UNIPRO team. I will give you an update in this presentation on protein functional annotation in UNIPROT in 2020. UNIPROT is a consortium between the European Bioinformatics Institute in the UK, the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics in Switzerland, and the Protein Information Resource in the USA. The mission of UNIPROT is to provide the scientific community with comprehensive, high quality, and freely accessible resources for protein sequences and functional information. This mission is undertaken via four core data resources, the protein knowledge base, known as UNIPROT KB, the sequence clusters, known as UNIREF, the sequence archive, known as UNIPARC, and the proteomes datasets resource. UNIPROT KB is the central hub for the collection of functional information on proteins with accurate, consistent, and rich annotation. It consists of two main sections. A section containing manually annotated records with information extracted from literature, that is called SwissProt. It comprises so far more than half a million records, and it keeps slowly growing. The second section is called Trumbull and it contains computationally analyzed records that await full manual annotation. As of July, Trumbull comprises more than 180 million records and it keeps growing exponentially. For example, in 2014, we witnessed a twofold increase in the number of records. This increase was accompanied by a high level of redundancy and many sequences were overrepresented in the database. Though we implemented a procedure for redundancy reduction that is called the proteome redundancy detector, data kept growing exponentially. Trumbull records that pass into the SwissPort section should go through a process of expert manual annotation. However, this process is slow and cannot cope with the tens of millions of records in Trumbull. That's why we have a parallel process of automatic annotation that uses the SwissPort section as reference data to enrich Trumbull records. We've developed two prediction systems to automatically annotate Trumbull in an efficient and scalable way with a high degree of accuracy a semi-automated system and a fully automated system. The semi-automatic system is called Unirul. It is an ensemble of five systems from the different sites of Uniprot Consortium. And the first fully automatic system was called SAS, which stands for Statistical Automatic Annotation System which retired to be replaced by a new system called SA-ARBA. This is how it works in the UNIRUL system. The presence of specific protein signatures is used together with taxonomy to predict the biochemical features and biological roles of proteins. Rules are created, tested, and maintained by experienced creators using a dedicated platform called Unirule Tool. Then, these rules are applied to Trumbull records as part of each release. Unirule provides approximately 7,000 rules, which allow to annotate 50 million Trumbull records in the current public release 2020-03. This amount will increase by 5 million in the next public release 2020-04. Compared with fully automatic systems, the advantage of using Unirule is the ability to create complex rules and to take into account additional knowledge about biology or chemistry. For example, by efficiently handling negative conditions or allowing certain exceptions 
from the rule during the calculation of the statistical scores or add in special cases to rule conditions. For example, in this rule, there are common conditions to infer certain functional information and more special conditions to infer more functional information like pathways, uh, gene names, active sites, etc. As a result, 30 million proteins in Trumbull in the current public release 2020-03 have been annotated by Unirule but not by the fully automated system SAS. This number will decrease from 30 million in the current public release to only 8 million in the next release 2020-04 due to the replacement due to the replacement of SAS by ARBA. This figure is the result of a benchmarking on proteins that were previously in Trumbull and then passed into SwissProt. It illustrates the evolution of annotation quality from 2014 to 2019 through four curves. The precision curve in blue, the recall curve in red, the F score curve in yellow or orange, and the uh, Uniprot F score, which is noted as FUNP beta, with beta equal um, to 0.51 because the quality in Uniprot is precision oriented. The figure shows that precision has been kept high over that period of time and is generally close to 100%, which means the quasi-totality of annotations predicted by Unirule were later revealed by manual review as correct. Recall increased from 2014 to 2019 by 8%, which means Unirule was becoming more sensitive and able to, pr to predict a greater number of annotations. F1 score and the Uniprot F score measures also improved respectively by 8 and 6%. On the Uniprot website, you can access all rules used to annotate the Uniprot KB records. You can simply find the links to the rules highlighted here by the red rectangle by clicking on the option button next to the search bar. You can also find information added by annotation rules clearly highlighted as such using evidence tags. These tags can also be used as search terms to specifically search for or filter out annotation added by your rule. Starting for the next public release, SAS evidence tags will disappear as SAS is replaced by the new system called ARBA. ARBA stands for Association Rule Based Annotator. Its logo originates from the fact that the word ARBA means for in Arabic and Semitic languages. ARBA is trained on manual data from SwissProt to predict most of the protein functional annotations including gene ontologies, uh, metabolic pathways, EC numbers, etc. With respect to certain quality measures, ARBA finds all rules which would define significant relations between attributes and functional annotations in manual data. The set of extracted rules represent the comprehensive knowledge which could explain protein functions. However, these rules comprise redundant information and their high number makes it infeasible to apply them on large sets of data such as Trumbull. To address this issue, ARBA puts these rules into a fast competition process based on two concepts, namely dominance and comparability. Rules are then elegantly and considerably reduced in number 
and aggregate it to form concise prediction models that assign functional annotations to Uniprot KB records. ARBA also generates convivial graphical report about the quality of its prediction. Besides its own evaluation mechanism, ARBA can be evaluated with the Unirule tools because it can generate rules in the Unirule XML format. We could import ARBA models onto the Unirule tool for further evaluation. This figure shows ARBA rules sorted by their confidence score. As you can see, most of them have the confidence score of 100%, but let's have a closer look on one of the rules that has a poor confidence. This is a view from the Unirule tool. This ARBA rule has a very low confidence score of 7.1%. It predicts the protein name glutamyl tRNA amidotransferase subunit C. The rule is based on two signatures and a taxonomy. False positive records have a slightly different name. In conclusion, protein names are free text which could entail inconsistency in the manual data. So the false positives in this case are not really false positives and the confidence score should be higher. So how does ARBA compare to SAS? ARBA is a multi-class system because it can predict all annotations within the same learning process and generate rules for them. Whereas SAS is a binary system or monoclass system because it can predict only one annotation at a time and build a model for it. Then it goes back to the input data and is trained again to build a new model for the new annotation. This will give a better performance to ARBA in terms of runtime compared to SAS. Another major difference is that SAS tends to be heuristic, while ARBA tends to be exhaustive or comprehensive. SAS finds good knowledge, not necessarily optimal, but good, in the form of a decision tree using the heuristic of information gain of protein signatures and taxonomy, whereas ARBA finds all rules, then reduces them in, into a small subset of representative and concise models. This will give a better performance to ARBA in terms of rule quality. As of now, the current public release is 2023. The public release 2004 will go public on the 12th of August. ARBA rules and annotations will then be publicly available on the Uniport website. Compared to SAS, ARBA not only generates more rules, but also annotates more than the double of the number of records annotated by SAS. With a higher number of records that could not be annotated by Unirule, resulting in a remarkable increase of the global annotation coverage in the Uniprot knowledge base from 35% to 50%. As I've already stated in a previous slide, ARBA has an impact on the number of proteins uniquely annotated by Unirule, which dropped from 30% uh, from 30 million to 8 million. So ARBA not only outperforms SAS, but also Unirule. In order to share our annotation rules with, with the community, we needed to work on two components. A format that is common to all our annotation system rules and based on a well-supported standard and an engine to allow users to apply our rules on their own data. Our former colleague Alexandre worked on these two components to make up UNIFIRE, which stands for the Uniprot Functional Annotation Inference Rule Engine. As for the format, 
we came out with URMN, which stands for Unipro Tool Markup Language, which is based on XML, easy readable, and allows to encode annotation rules. The, the Unifier engine allows users to annotate their own data based on the Uniprot rules that are already encoded into the URML format. So users simply need to format their data in a FASTA format along with all required metadata like the taxonomy and if they want to predict positional features they have to add template sequences for that. These data will be consumed by the Interprosscan, which is a part of the Unifier engine to produce the signatures. These signatures will be used along with rules that are already in the URML format to generate the annotations for the input data. As use case example, the Genoscope team is using Unifier to annotate their own data based on SAS rules and Unirule rules. So you can create functional predictions for your own protein data from Unirule and Arba rules using Unifier, which is available on FTP and GitLab. Unifier is an open uh, source which is open as well for collaboration and available on a Git repository at the link that you can see here. You can build from source and run or simply follow the easy setup through a Docker image containing all dependency. You can find a very well described documentation and if you need help, we have a mailing list dedicated for your communications. In the end, I'd like to thank every single member of the Unipro team, those who left and those who are still there. And thank you for your attention.